Hi guys, Patty from Patty's Crafty Spot, and I'm just here to share with you a couple of things. First of all, let me say happy National Scrapbook Day 2019. I am so excited for this day. I have not had this day off in years, so there's all kinds of online videos today I plan on watching, and I can't wait to get started. So I haven't been on and recorded videos in a little bit because I've been extremely busy with mini album blanks. Literally, probably the last month and a half, two months, I have been making them nonstop. Everybody's been wanting to craft, so they've been buying the blanks. So if you want to buy blanks, I have them in my website. You can check that out. I'll leave a link down below. So first off, let I have three things for you today. So real quick, let me announce my huge, big announcement that I am so excited for. So you know the dies that I use a lot in my books and stuff from Creoles? They have the um, the pretty tag dies and then the twist and pop ones, the never ending card. I had made a sample of that. Guess what? I was chosen to be on the design team for 2019. So I will have lots of video tutorials and stuff coming up using these amazing dies. And I was brought on to do mini albums and stuff. So make sure you check that out. And I hope you will subscribe and watch and see what I have to share with you. So let's get started. So this is the National Scrapbook Day 2019 project that Kathy of Paper Phenomenon is going to be doing today in her class. Um, I say today because I am recording this on May 4th. So if you're watching this later, obviously it's gone past. So I went ahead and made that. And let me just show you the paper collections. <coughs> Excuse me. So I use the Hot Buy Paper Pads from Michaels. And I use Kawaii Dream. Super cute. I wanted to make something fun and cute. And I really wanted to use those papers. And I used a few of the pages from the Rainbow to Dreamland. You can see that. Super cute. So let's get started. So real quick, if you like how this part here is done, um, back in November, I actually made a tutorial. Um, this is a free tutorial I have up on my YouTube page on something extremely similar. So I thought it was kind of cool. So right here, and I will walk you through this at the end of the video, but I have a free tutorial up on my YouTube channel on how to make this folio. And I did it back in November, so it is Christmas theme. But of course, you don't have to do Christmas theme. And I do also offer this book as a blank album in my website. So let's get started on this one. So you can see it is a huge book. And now that I'm looking at it, I forgot to do the back page. But I really wanted to get this video up for National Scrapbook Day. So let's get started on it. So a little magnetic closure here. And it opens up and then there's a little waterfall so I did um, Bonita Richards I think it is does this kind of style on her waterfalls and it's so cute because you've got a picture when it's closed but as you flip you have your photo mats right here so I did the sleeping little unicorn <clears throat> and it just flips like this so then you get to the inside and there's two photo mats that flip out, as well as a pocket. And then they close back down. And then magnetized cover. This was also the PETA Fest project that Kathy and a lot of the girls did when they went down to Irvin, Texas for the PETA Fest. So this was their project then, and then it's also for National Scrapbook Day. So I did something a little different. I did a few things different in the book, and I'm not quite sure if I'll remember them all. If I remember what I did, I'll let you know. But I added a little acetate window here instead. I don't think there was anything here. I think this was blank in the original. So I went ahead and added a little acetate window pocket, just so you can see. And then just some generic photo mats. Little stuff. I have more photo mats to make for this book, but I wanted to get it up and show you guys real quick while it was National Scrapbook Day. So it opens like this. And then there is room. Let's see. 
I'll just keep these out. So there's a little shallow pocket here, which is the pocket that these were in keeping the cover closed. <coughs> Excuse me. And then there is also a pocket here. And then there's two pockets up here. Holding the photos. And we'll keep these out as well. And then I, what I did when mine was, it doesn't have magnets in the original. I added magnets just to kind of keep things closed. The other thing, just before I forget, hers is made, it's a soft cover. Um, she used chipboard and Tyvek, I think. I actually made chipboard covers. I wanted mine more solid. So my book is made of chipboard covers. So it opens down like this and then little flaps. Then this comes out. So let me walk you through that. So then on the front here, you also have pockets. This one was a fun one. And then on here too, you got a nice belly band to hold your photos, as well as a pocket down here. So you could also keep everything closed just like that. And then it lifts up. And then of course the pocket. Over here, you have a belly band, but it also has an acetate pocket. So the belly band pocket all the way through. Oh, magic. And then I did a magnetic closure on the top here. And then it has the acetate window pocket for room for lots of photos. And then on this side, pocket. And then this cute little envelope pocket right here. Just like that. And then over here, I can't remember if Kathy had these photo flaps on here or not. Or if I added them. I'm not sure. I may have added these. I'm not, I can't remember. <clears throat> but anyway, it has these little photo flaps here. And over here is another pocket. So when I got done making all of the mini album blanks, I was like, I need to play with paper. So I decided I was going to make this. And it actually went together super fast. So when they do it today, it should go together fairly quick. And then pocket here. Like that. And then, of course, the belly bands here would keep your pockets closed like that and then the back side put this one back and this paper was just so cute I had to play with it so then on this side this is just an envelope that opens up and then there's a big pocket here to go ahead and put stuff in and then over here a little belly band and then a bigger pocket here so I know like with the, how I decorated the paper here it's hard to tell but it is all there and then a nice big pocket here and then over here a pocket and then this flips down and another pocket Lots and lots of pockets for lots and lots of photos. So that is attached to that one. So we open up and so here was another spot that I did something a little different was I added this magnetic closure here on this flap. I was doing it intending, hoping that the sides would stay up because the book itself is heavy and this is on like the last part of the pages um, on the bottom of the book. So it does get a little squished and I was hoping that the magnet would keep these parts here up but it is heavy I'm sure if once this gets more full with photos and stuff it won't squish down but I added a little magnet on this little flap here and it opens up like this and so you see what I did cute so let me show you this one this is a real simple one so you have a, like a double belly band here so these open up and then it just opens up like this to hold your photos and stuff. I'm pretty sure, too, I added this photo flap. I don't think that was on 
the original either. I think I added this one. And then your stuff stays all down inside. And then it just folds back up. And the belly band keeps the cover closed. And then I just made a little, whoops, a little photo book just to put some photos in. And that keeps everything closed right there. Opens up. And I did do the matching paper so you can see. I thought that was kind of pretty. So then we come over to this side. And this one has a magnetic closure as well with another little pull-out folder. So it has a pocket on the front and then it lifts up. This one's another simple one. And I used the same thing on the waterfall image that I had with the sleeping unicorn. I used the same one again there. And it had this is a double stack pocket. So you have a regular pocket on the bottom and then you have an acetate pocket in the back. Just like that. And then this all stays keeps everything closed up nice and pretty. And then a magnetic closure. Anyway, I think that is all of that. So we already walked through this. Let me just throw these in here just to put them somewhere. And that is the book. Anyway, it's super cute. All right, so now let me show you um, what I did with my folio. So back in November, I created this little folio. And like I said, it is a free tutorial up on YouTube. And there, on the front, a little pocket. And it opens up. And I have a nice expandable pocket here. And I have a few little photo mats inside. I do have magnetic closures on here. Let's see if I can zoom in. I put little Santa heads here and they're covering my magnets underneath because I thought about the magnets after because I started decorating it. So I thought that was a cute way to hide my magnets after I even forgot them. So they're little Santa heads. So right there. And then on this side is just some stacked pockets. And it opens up and so this is what I thought was kind of cool. Oops. So on this one here it's a magnetic closure and then on this one I did the string that does not want to come off. There it goes. So a little Rudolph right there. And then it flips up. And then I actually stood at the waterfall going this way. So it's a little different, but same style. And then I also did the stacked pockets on the inside. And these are made with the Creoles dies that I told you about in the beginning. So the little tags in there. So that was kind of neat. And then they just close back up. And goes down. You can always use a magnetic closure. I was trying to go with the string closure just for something a little different because I know not everybody has magnets. So I have that. And then over here, because my pages kept getting caught on this stuff here, I created a little acetate window to keep everything nice and tidy so that way it protects it all. So then on here I have, let me grab to show you. So I have a little pocket on the front and then that lifts up and then as you just saw a little acetate window pocket here and then it opens like this so you got room for photos here and again right here and then I created this little oops too far a little bit for photos so pull out photo mat along with another pocket and these are gusseted they have they're thicker on the side here I have like a it's a quarter inch space so then that way everything lies nice and flat and it don't it doesn't go all like 
you know, wonky and stuff. And then it opens up another photo mat and a pocket. Anyway, I have a free tutorial on this on my channel. And like I said, I will link it down below so you can check that out. Super fun to make. And then it just has a little ribbon closure on the side right here. Anyway, so that is all of my excitement for today. And I hope you like what you see. If you do, give me a thumbs up. I would love it if you subscribe. And happy National Scrapbook Day. I hope you guys are doing something fun today. I know I will be doing all kinds of fun stuff. All right. Until next time, guys. Happy crafting. Bye.